my family is very is a very core part of my identity and who I am. Um, my grandfather came to the United States from Mexico at the age of 14. And so when he came here, he came here to work and um, provide for his family back at home. And so he wasn't able to finish his education. And so he always emphasized the importance of education and the impact that could have in your life. I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, it's a very diverse city. It's definitely growing, but I attended Godwin Heights High School and it was 80% Hispanic and mostly made up of minority students. And so um, we didn't really have all the resources that were necessary to, for me to get here. And so I spent a lot of my time attending school six days a week. Um, I spent my Saturdays mornings and evenings at our community college taking courses because I knew that without that um, I may not get to where I wanted to be as far as like attending a university. But coming to the university since the demographics are very different um, and it's actually like 80% white here and it definitely we probably had like a handful of white students at my um, high school and so I never had to explain my identity or who I was because people just knew. Here it's very black and white and so I felt like what about all the people who are in the middle and um, those who are different than um, what it is a custom or the norm here and so that brought me into creating the first Hispanic organization committed to um, students, faculty, and staff here on campus, the Hispanic Latino Association. Um, our main mission is to recruit, retain, and graduate Hispanic and Latino students. Um, and just from other experiences of like facing discrimination and racism and seeing um, the effect that it could have not only on like your self-esteem, but in your academic life. Um, I wanted to provide that space on campus for students who are like me that came in lost and needed um, a hand or that guide. I would say cultural awareness is something that we all think is very important for us on campus. And so one of our main events is the Hispanic Latino Festival where we try and debunk those stereotypes that a lot of people have um, towards the Latinx community. And so um, we like to have music that represents us and do fun things like that, of course. But we also like to spread knowledge on the difference between Latinos and Hispanics and um, how different each country is and how not everybody comes from Mexico because I feel like that is something that is very misconstrued. To other students, I would say to never give up and to believe in yourself and the change that you can make. I know for me, in the beginning, I didn't realize the impact that I could have on our campus, in our community, and really on the world, because the biggest thing for me was impacting one person's life um, and seeing that growth. When I think of a just society, I think of a society that's equal, that um, people who, people can be whoever they want to be as long as they're not harming others, of course. I think a just society is a society where, um, despite your race, ethnicity, disability, immigration status, um, you are allowed to be who you are, um, wholly. I think that in a just society, we, don't, we wouldn't have um, a lot of the issues that we have today because we would have empathy for others and really see that every that people's uniqueness brings something to the table no matter what that is